Well, October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month. The Cano Bossier Domestic Violence Task Force held its annual Trey Hutchinson Memorial Awards Banquet today. Hutchinson was killed in the line of duty in 2004 as he responded to a domestic violence call. NBC 6's Shirley Busico reports. When she was killed, she was transformed. When she was killed, I was transformed. Chris Barney wears a butterfly in memory of her three-year-old daughter. She says her ex-husband murdered her little girl and abused Barney for years. So it was very difficult for me to convince police officers or even attorneys that I was being abused because I didn't have any bruises or physical marks on my body. So it's very difficult to understand that verbal and mental and emotional abuse is domestic violence. Barney shared her story during her keynote address at the annual Trey Hutchinson Memorial Awards Banquet. The awards recognize criminal justice experts who go above and beyond to support families impacted by domestic violence. If we don't have safe families, we can't have safe communities. Assistant District Attorney Brittany Green was honored for her work in the Special Victims Unit. She says domestic violence spiked during the height of the pandemic. We saw more serious injuries because the eyes of the community were not on the victim. People weren't going to work. Uh, children weren't going to school. We were kind of hibernating, quarantining, and didn't get a chance to see each other. The Catabosier Domestic Violence Task Force hopes events like these will help raise awareness and reduce the high rate of violence against women in Louisiana. Showing that something is changing um, and hopefully we'll be able to say we're not in the top 10 anymore one day. Shirley Busico, NBC6 News. Shirley, thank you. And experts say here are some signs to look for if you suspect someone may be a victim of domestic violence. The person may become isolated or withdrawn. There may be changes in their mood, attitude, or appearance. And experts say ask them if they're safe or they need to talk to someone and let them know that there are resources available to help.